Well, you might be thinking maybe it's a little too early to start talking about hockey, or maybe you can't wait for it. But don't tell that to the hockey teams at UConn. They're on the ice preparing for a season that starts in only two weeks. Channel 3's Joe Zone has more from stores. I think what we have to do this year, you know, our goal is to get to that national tournament. UConn fell short of that goal last season, losing to UMass Lowell in the Hockey East quarterfinals. By most accounts, the season was a success. The Huskies had back-to-back 20-win -back seasons for the first time in their history. They finished in the top 20 in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time in their histories. With that kind of success comes the expectation of more success. The coach has always said a saying that pressure is a privilege. You know, if people are kind of relying on you to produce something, it means that you're in a good place. Hudson Shandor is a team captain, one of four seniors on a team loaded with experience. Jake Flynn, one of the three grad students on UConn, rather than leave, decided to come back for one more try. We're ready to win here, and uh, I got one year to do it, and this is the year I feel like we're going to do it, so why would you not want to come back? The trophy case here is filled with the history of the program, some of the awards they've won. But you know what's missing? The big one, the national championship trophy. You know, we played Northeastern here in the opening night and had a lead in the third period and uh, lost that game. We had a lead against Quinnipiac in the third period in the finals of the Connecticut tournament and lost that game. If we win those two games, we're in the national tournament. The next step for UConn is getting to that national tournament. They've got skill, speed, size, experience, but not everyone's expressed. In the first hockey preseason poll, the Huskies were picked to finish fourth in their own conference. In stores, Joe Zone, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.